Anycubic is one of the top 3D printer manufacturers and offers users a wide selection of machines to choose from. I've compared the specs for all their printers, I'll show you the main differences between each of them and provide recommendations based on your skill level. The Cobra series is the only FDM printer line that Anycubic offers and is catered towards beginners and advanced users. And it starts with the Cobra Go. Starting at a very attractive $119, the Cobra Go features a standard size print bed and a compact design. As an entry level budget printer, that's about all of its highlights. The print speed is subpar to market standards at 100 millimeters per second, and it uses a standard Bowden tube extruder. However, it does offer an optional filament runout sensor, which is a nice touch and different from other budget printers. The Cobra Neo is the newest addition to the original Cobra line, hence the word Neo in the title. This printer has the same specs as the Cobra Go, but with an upgraded direct drive extruder, allowing for more accurate flow of material and a reduced chance of clogging. The Viper is a standalone printer that was a significant upgrade in the past. Since there's no separate series for this printer, and its name is of a serpent nature, I included it here. The Viper is a definite upgrade from the base Cobra models, as it adds an LCD touchscreen, has a larger build plate, and prints 80% faster. The Cobra Plus and Cobra Max do not offer performance upgrades from the Viper, but have much larger build plates which are also upgraded to glass. The machines are also equipped with a dual Z access for increased stability on larger prints. The only difference between the Plus and the Max are the build volumes, with the Max being 30% larger. Finally, the new Cobra 2. This was introduced this year and comes with some significant upgrades. The build volume is the same standard size as the Neo, but that's about where the comparison ends. The Cobra 2 has a brand new upgraded direct drive extruder and is the fastest printer of the Cobra line with an advertised 250 millimeters per second print speed. Now, this speed is not common on H-style FDM printers due to stability issues. However, Anycubic claims that the Cobra 2 has a dynamic build structure for increased stability during high speed printing. The Cobra line does offer a wide range of printers, but most seem to have small upgrades when compared to each other. In the end, the series only shows three significantly different machines, the Cobra Go, the Cobra Max, and the new Cobra 2. The Cobra Go is perfect for the entry level hobbyist with a tight budget. The Cobra 2 is a significant upgrade with a reasonable increase in price. And for a more professional large volume printer, the Cobra Max fits the need. The Photon series is where Anycubic stands out. The series satisfies its customers with its price to quality ratio and to this day remains one of the best budget level printers. The Photon M3 is the baseline printer and the smallest of the entire line but it offers a larger build plate than most budget models. The M3 also has a standard print speed of 50 millimeters per second, but comes with a seven and a half inch LCD and an impressive 4K resolution, especially for the price. From the smallest to the largest resin printer, the M3 Max is almost twice the size of the M3 with a 13 and a half inch LCD and a higher resolution at 7K, which until recently, was the best quality from the Photon line. The print speed is also 20% faster and has an added auto resin filler, which is very useful for those larger prints. Unfortunately, both the M3 and the M3 Max, in my opinion, are rendered virtually obsolete, as the new M5 series, released last month, looks to set new industry standards when it comes to resin printing. The base M5 offers a standard size build plate and print speed when compared to competitors of the same price point but claims to have an impressive 12K resolution, which is 50% higher than any desktop resin printer currently on the market. The M5 is also the first Anycubic printer to add wireless printing functionality and controls. The M5S is where you get your money's worth. For an extra $120, the print speed is nearly three times faster when compared to the M5, while retaining the same 12K resolution. As added bonuses, it includes a level free bed and print status detection feature that minimizes resin and time waste by alerting users about common printing failures. 
any Cubic does have another line of resin printers called Mono X. When it comes to quality and price, this line of printers falls between the M3 and the M5. Unfortunately, the four printers in the series have small upgrades between them, almost like baby steps, and do not stand out. Again, this is a line where I think it's been made obsolete by the introduction of the M5. I'm not saying they are bad printers at all, but if you're a beginner, you would likely choose the M3, and when you're ready to upgrade, it would make sense to jump right to the M5. To help you even further, there's a link in the description comparing all of the printers discussed in this video, including the Mono X series, so you can see the differences and similarities side by side. I hope you found this overview useful, and if you did, please consider watching my buyer's guide for Creality's printers. You're going to want to check it out, there's a lot of them. Thanks for watching.